Joe, Messi and Ronaldo dominating the conversation, of course. How big a financial impact uh, do these star players have? Yeah, they do have a really big impact in terms of attracting um, sponsorships is the main thing um, in terms of their marketing um, power. But it also needs to translate onto results on the pitch. And we have seen um, with Juventus, they had this big commercial boost from getting Ronaldo um, back in 2018. And we did see their revenue rise quite a lot. That was mainly through um, the sponsor sponsorship packs with companies like um, Allianz and also Jeep. So they did quite well there. But they weren't able to really succeed on the Champions League stage. Um, and as such, the, the kind of share price impact and the overall commercial impact didn't last too long. But we will likely see um, some revenue impacts at Man United if they can get um, the sponsorship deals up. But as I mentioned, um, we really need to see the results on the pitch as well. OK, so it's, Matt, it's what happens on the pitch that really matters. Clubs are trying to repair their finances, then we know, Joe, after the tough times around COVID, where they played so many times to empty stadiums with or without the piped-in crowd noise. What role do transfers play, then, in trying to rebuild those finances? Well, so we saw um, a lot of the smaller clubs were really hit really badly um, from the loss of ticket sales, whereas the larger clubs were kind of able to weather that. And we've even seen, even with Man United, they had a really big um, hit on their ticket sales of as much as around um, £30 million in one um, season. But they've now gone and spent um, almost £110 uh, million on just two players with um, Varane and Sancho. So clearly it hasn't been the huge hit for the bigger clubs. Clubs like Chelsea, Man United, PSG, they've obviously got these really deep pockets with big backers, so it hasn't been so much of an issue. But we have definitely seen fewer transfers in the lower um, levels of the leagues. The smaller clubs have been hit much harder because they're so much more reliant on the ticket sales. They don't get um, that Champions League money in the big broadcasting deals. So it's really been a case, uh, once again, of the richer clubs kind of pushing on and the smaller clubs having to cut back.